There are many people who work behind the scenes in every museum to make sure that every visitor has a great experience. I have one of the lesser known positions. I am an exhibitions preparator at the Columbus Museum of Art. As an exhibitions preparator, I work as a team with the curators and the exhibition designer. In any exhibition, the curator is the person who has the most understanding of the theme that's involved because this painting needs to go next to this painting, not just because they look nice together, but because they have a historical significance together. The exhibition designer is the person who works the most closely with the curator. and We work together as a team. On a very busy day, if we're mounting a major exhibition, you can find me coordinating the crew, everything from hanging all of this artwork. You might find me on light lift, adjusting lights, or I could be in the wood shop building a pedestal. There's a lot going on on a day like that, and we're just trying to uh, do all of that. And also, we want to make sure the, the visitor has an experience where they understand what they're seeing. One thing I like the most about my job is that in a museum, everything's always changing. We really have to be ready for whatever is coming and be able to adapt. Also, just being able to experience all of these different kinds of art as it comes in, it's always fascinating. I have a Bachelor of Fine Arts degree from Ohio Wesleyan University. So when I was in college, I helped with uh, hanging exhibitions and putting things together or did exhibitions of my own work. I worked for a while, uh, before I worked at the museum, at a place called the Scare Factory that does um, haunted houses. So that was kind of set building. My first job working at the museum was working for the catering at the museum and bartending parties but I started to see how things worked within the museum when they'd be doing a big show, how they'd bring in a crew. So I started inquiring about that and told them I had an art background. I was actually in the middle of an event wearing my little black bow tie and serving hors d'oeuvres and I talked to exhibition um, designer and he wrote my name down on, I remember, on a piece of wood because he couldn't find a piece of paper. And then within a few days I started working part-time and then when the position opened up, I became one of two full-time art preparators at the Columbus Museum of Art. And having a fine arts degree is really what got me in the door to be able to start doing this kind of work. One of the best things you can do is do internships. And if you do an internship, do a good job. And put, even though maybe you're not getting paid and it seems like you're just kind of doing a lot of work for free, that is experience that is invaluable and it also lets employers see how you work and even if you don't end up working for that institution, if you can get a great recommendation from a museum or wherever it is you're doing it, it's just invaluable.